so this is this is part two of my video of me explaining why I'm pretty much sick of the sun and sick of you know what comes along with it. Now I was saying before, and I tried to explain to everybody that it's dark in heaven, so we know it's supposed to be dark inside the earth. But we also know that God has grace and He has mercy, so I was permitted to do certain things, okay? And one of them is keep, you know, the sun in the sky. And God knows why, and I told Him my heart as to why we ought to have a sun in the sky, right? But then now. On a day-to-day -day basis, I'm facing persecution like I'm Jesus and like Jesus did not die. People are treating me like, you know, I'm not spreading love. And instead of receiving the love that I put out, all I receive is hatred instead. And it's not like, you know, I'm doing things with ill intentions or to belittle anyone else. It's like I'm doing it because... I know what it's like to have a dark day. I've seen my darkest days when it was the brightest suns in the sky. And I know what would happen if people actually, you know, begin to see that it's dark in the sky. And so I ask for God to have grace and mercy on his creation because none of us, none of his creation really understands his plans. He said he knows his plans. So although, you know, Satan get a whiff from him, there's things that even Satan don't know that God does. And with me having that knowledge, that all knowledge came from God in the first place, I just asked God to have mercy on us. But then, you, like I said, you got people Googling how to do it, you know, trying to figure out what I'm doing. You got um, helicopters flying over me and my son. Um, my son can't go to my school of choice. People aid me to put him inside my community school. Why would I, if I'm in control of the sun, put my son in a, in a public school for him to be persecuted and picked on like y'all want to pick on me? Now people sitting up here expecting me to die and, and, and looking at my son as a sacrifice. You know, I'm not, I, I didn't come here to die. Not, I didn't come here to be hateful or condemn anybody. I came here, you know, although I got put his spirit in me and love me and change me from a certain way. And, you know, no matter who my actual birth father is, my father in heaven, he looked after me and he showed me love and he showed me grace and he showed me mercy. And that's how I know that nobody is too little to receive or not that important to receive the love of God because, you know, of certain things that he's done for me. I'm not, you know, that's just naturally, that's me. I'm not saying it to be holy or saying it to, I'm just naturally saying it. And, you know, they're like, you can't be famous. It's not about me being famous, child. I don't care for fame. I don't like, like I said, I don't like attention. I like excitement. I don't care for fame. The devil got y'all confused and y'all doing stuff for clout. We don't need clout. He, he, he just know what he doing at the end of the day. You understand what I'm saying? The sun is, the sun is God's glory. The moon is God's grace. Yes, it is what you think it is, but at the end of the day, all these things were put here before us for a reason and for signs and seasons. And we know not. So we do things and sometimes we do things and we only hurt ourselves. So when I was doing what I was doing with the sun, it was not to be haughty or to be better than anybody. It was because God's glory and victory is upon his creation. And also God's grace. And maybe that's why he allowed it to happen. But it also vexed him because you are in competition with God and not me. So you call it like it be people. They got like a, a gang of witches meditating and doing all this weird stuff in the spirit room. Going against just me and acting like that's equivalent anyway. When is when you got an army against one person at the end of the day, and then saying you can only do it with your God. Well, who do anybody else get power from? Because for the last time I checked, even Satan got his power from God and his light from the Lord who sits up high above the heavens and whose glory is far above the nation. That was the last time I checked. This is really getting annoying. Like, you know, you got groups of messages about me going around in my neighborhood, private messages online with public figures. And it's, it's Satan coming for me online in the first place. Like, my, my videos on YouTube go, can go rival, but not me getting jumped by haters at the end of the day. That that can go viral. But my, my my videos where I'm speaking love and speaking hope and speaking joy, they can't be moved. But I denounce Satan because he has plans with that too. You know, he wants to see my death before my videos are moved on because he wants to make a point about why the internet shouldn't be, you know, 
um, how it is structured, but that's not the example that God is going to use me for. I'm sick of the enemy trying to use me, you know, as an example of how not to do things because I've done it the best way that I could. And I've done it to the best of my knowledge and the best of my ability as are you. And the only reason why, you know, your, your, um, flaws aren't observed is because you hide them, but everything done in the dark comes to the light. And maybe that's why we don't need the light. Maybe y'all need to hide y'all sins more, but I prayed this morning. I asked God to fill my heart with grace and to fill my heart with mercy and to fill my heart up with his love at the end of the day. Cause I'm not God argues. I don't owe nobody a sacrifice. I don't owe anybody anything. And my son is not a sacrifice. And, j- and when Jesus died, it wasn't just peachy cream. Things happened. But I'm not Jesus, and I wasn't sent for the reason that he was sent. And he was sent so that what Jesus do in these hours could be justified. If I go, we all go. What do y'all think is happening? So he left me, and so what happens is a phrase that goes on. It's always sunny in East New York. Like, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. It's always sunny in East New York, right? And, you know, I'm going to tell you something. That's and Even though it's a bad thing, because it's witchcraft, you know, Initially, not me with the sun, but initially they were call they were looking to call him the sun as a form of witchcraft to worship the sun. But the sun, me and the son of God and the sun already had plans before this summer even began. When y'all didn't even know that it was still dark and it was going to get dark in the first place, I ceased from not bringing down the sun because I told God that, you know, because I ceased from not bringing down the sun. Because I know that God has grace and he has glory and his might endure and his strength endure forever. But then you got people talk about me like a dog. I know they talk about Jesus like a dog, but at that time we didn't have the internet. And the messages most likely wasn't getting back to him at the rate that it's getting back to me. On top of that, Jesus didn't have a baby mom. My baby father is, a, is, the, is the one person who seems to be condoning the hatred that y'all have for me because he's so scared that I'm trying to bring down his his kingdom. It says in the word of God that everything works together for the good of those who believe. And I am a believer of all things, but most certainly of a, the most high God who sits high above the heavens and whose glory is far above the earth. So this whole, you know, sun thing is beginning to be annoying because of the jealousy. Because I have helicopters flying over my head because my son can't even go to the school of choice in New York City because, you know, being as though they thought they depleted my dreams and then this start happening. They want to deplete me. And, and I have a court date every other day now. Mind you, I'm in school. I have a court date every other day because they desire to keep me in New York City. To keep me in New York City. What's happening in New York City is happening everywhere. There's no place for nobody to run because what is sent was sent by a guy who sits up high above the heavens. We we don't get away with nothing. Whatever, you know, we don't understand is because it is not for us to understand, but it, because it was already planned before this earth was even created and God knows he has the plan for the earth. So what would I be running from? What is in New York City that is nowhere else? I would like to know. It's not about that for me. I know that God did not give me the spirit of fear. And if my life be cut short, then I know that I'll be in heaven. And that's a much stronger room to fight from because they fighting the second heaven right now. That's not what it's about for me. Neither if I went to hell. It's what is unseen that is more powerful than what is seen. So I could care less. The thing about it and the fact about it is that God has been good to us throughout this pandemic before. Even when y'all killed his son, he was good. And now y'all think you're going to persecute me the way y'all persecute Jesus? Nail me to a cross? Belittle me? Talk mess about me? Say I stink and stuff like that? Child, please. My baby dad not taking care of his son and stuff like that. Y'all just being hateful. I can't get no job or I can't get, I can't get a job, but it's not said because of the, of the power that I already have. Nobody, nobody is hiring me. My, you know, it's hard for me to establish my own business because the devil that made it seem like I was one of the ones that was receiving PPP loan or unemployment that I, I did not. Okay. It was that after that was a Jordan, that's when his plan becomes, became emotion because you know, y'all had something and then y'all had nothing. So then y'all were at a point of scarcity and then it was easier to make, you know, make people do what it was that he needed for people to do at that time. But I don't have nothing to do with that. Or honestly, I have nothing to do with what God does. Just like anything else inside this earth that God created, I'm just a part of God's creation. And what God creates, he creates it with love. And it's a time and place and a season for everything. And so I'm literally sick of this son, okay? 
I am absolutely positively sick of the jealousy, sick of the hatred, sick of everything that has been worked up behind it. Literally, they're trying to come for my son. They tried to come for my son. Literally, like, if only y'all knew the truth about so many things. Like, you got other people who, who, who you know, this gift art wasn't even promised to. Upset because they think that I even enjoy this son. This is not an easy job. Nobody asked for this. Nobody asked for this. But then you got people singing about it and rapping about it as if this is their life or as this is something that they're doing. Y'all, y'all not doing this. I, this I'm not getting paid. Nobody paid me or gave me anything. Y'all treated me like poop and y'all treat me like poop every day. I'm not God. I'm not Jesus. I don't know what y'all think the Bible or the Quran says, but it is not this. And this is not the righteousness will happen in this season, whether we want it to or not, because of who God is. Now to persecute me for it. I don't know how y'all want me to deal with it because I have knowledge that y'all don't. And even power that God is not giving, you know, the powers that be inside this earth. And they threaten to take my life. As if that's something that I'm even afraid of, but threatening to take my life from me. As if I'm doing something wicked or hateful. I don't even, I don't, I'm not, I don't even like, you know, I'm not a sudden person. I'm not. I appreciate the darkness for what it is. But because God is good, I, I, I have the power to say, let there be, and there is. That's what I've done. And so you got the enemy thinking that he's learning from me and learning, you know, people are learning. So you got people watching me and trying to study me down to science and figure out what I have done. What I have done has not been equivalent or measured to the works that happen because of what you observe. That's not it. Because that's not how the good Lord works. He said, yes, come and see, come and see what I have done. But he knows that Satan has wicked plans. I don't deserve the persecution that I'm facing. I will never be suicidal because if in my living God has done this for me, why would I sit up here and cut my life short when it's actually the greatest thing that could be done? But because, I don't know, like, why would they have me trapped in New York City pretty much? I can't go nowhere. Because they don't want anybody else to see it. Here you, but here you have it. The evil is allowed to move around. You think God will really permit that if I go to him and tell him what y'all really doing? You got really people trying to make me upset because they're going this place and going that place. But if the sun don't rise in New York City and the lights don't prevail in the heavens here, it don't prevail in the heavens anywhere. It's not just, oh, kill Ari and then that's done. That's not how it works. It's not just kill her son and that's that's done. That's not how it works. This devil is a liar. That's not how it works. That's not, that's my spirit is still active. And I'm going to be vexed if y'all kill me before my time. I'm going to be pissed off. And this is happening in my living. So a spiritual was way, we don't, the spiritual was way powerful. This. I will be so pissed at y'all, pissed at the earth. You don't think that it's going to be hard down here? If y'all kill my child and I go to God about it. Like, what do y'all think is going to happen? Who, why do why y'all, I, maybe when you live in a, like, we, you don't understand because sometimes it's things that I don't understand. You can never really perceive things for what they are truly. Sometimes, most times I don't care. But sometimes in, a, in a really complex things that I don't understand, you know, I've come to observe that. You know, it, it exceeds what I even sometimes have the ability to comprehend or think of or imagine. But I'm trying to express that with my mouth that I'm not Jesus and I don't want to be persecuted. I don't want to I don't want to have two views or one view when you know this page deserves millions. And I don't want to be saying, oh I gotta die or I this gotta no that is not true. God says we are allowed to have the desires of our heart. Everybody. That's what this earth was created for. But everybody except me. That's because everybody sold out and people sold me out don't mean that God bored it. I mean, he, y- y- y'all could have took money to spy on me, but this is God's earth. This is God's earth. It is nothing that is done in my presence that God does not tell me. And so, 
<sighs> you got people contending about me, you know, taking care, just doing stuff that they think that I know not because they are expecting me to die within the next couple of weeks or the next couple of days. So I plead the blood of Jesus over my child because this ain't that. Nor am I working with hatred. Nor am I working to condemn. Nor am I working to judge because judgment has a day. I did it for love. I went to a party this summer over the summer, first of all. I went to the party over the summer. And um, God told me to go. It was a police party. He, he told, I was just told to go around there and bring the sun out for the children. However, there were people around there hating, pretending as it. Everybody saw it. It was even caught on camera. The mayor and the government was there. Everybody seen it. And it was crazy. So my baby dad, his baby mom, they come around there. She got tears in her eyes. She crying, full of pitiful and left. I don't know why, because, you know, that's just my baby dad. You know, I I, I don't get it. Yeah, he, he, you know? And I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, as long as he has y'all or he's dealing with y'all, he knows that I don't want him or I'm not going to mess with him. So that's why he has to go against the grain and pretend like he don't love me. But as long as, as there's no equal to, like, if none of his wives equal to me or if none of his big mom equal to me, well, even character or love or how y'all perceive things are willing to show love to his, to, to his other children or love to the earth in general instead of being nasty witches. Understand? Why would I accept him in my life like I do or like I've done? I don't. I, I didn't have to do that. I did it out of the love of my heart. So anyway, he brings his baby mom around to the party to bring out the darkness, but he couldn't until, you know, I realized like what he was doing and I just relaxed and then I allow him to make it dark. But he walked away being so haughty, like it was something that he just did by himself and that God didn't allow to happen. Because we knew he was around there showing off and lying, trying to give power to somebody who, who not that they don't deserve it, but wouldn't know what to do with it if they had it. They wouldn't know and, and wouldn't be kind if they had it because they weren't kind without it. And so she's crying pitiful tears. You know how many tears I cry? You know how much family I don't have? You know how many people turn their backs on me? You know how my son father don't even take care of his kid, but I take care of hers. And here it is, she crying over the son. Be grateful. She wanted to control the son. Whoever said that that was your, no God did not make plans with you to do that. Whoever said that that was your job, who gave you that job? Who and I and I'm not saying it. That's my, I'm saying it because it's my job to do what, what it is that I'm supposed to do. But y'all don't even know what I'm supposed to do, and y'all have made it so hard for me to do it. Being in my business, being in the business of God, having helicopters and airplane fly over me as if what exists don't sit above us all. Nobody's scared of a helicopter and airplane. People get annoyed with that. But y'all gonna shoot me, kill me for not wanting to see the sun that God created. That he set for signs and seasons. I'm sick of the hatred that comes behind it. I'm sick of even the deceitfulness of God's creation, thinking that I know not because I, because I.